All right, we're going. So it is Wednesday, guys. Uh, we're a little different order this week, but that doesn't mean we can't find a wonderful way to enjoy our daily practice. So let's go ahead. Ah, we're going to review some poses. Uh, you're good, Ethan. Thank you. We're going to review a couple poses. Uh, we're going to add a couple poses. Just in these first weeks, do your best to follow along. The big key, of course, is uh, holding the pose as you're breathing, increasing your stretch. So we're trying to get deeper or sink a little bit more down into our stretch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or, and then making sure that as we're breathing, we're uh, working on our transitions. So as I take a deep breath in, I'll transition to a new pose. And I try to talk through those poses as we go. Um, this is kind of like a Monday where you're going to note your distractions because it's a new week, a new idea. They're going to happen. The key is once you see that distraction or feel that distraction, I want you to then take that distraction and try and let it go like this little man right here. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and find ourselves in seated pose. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Slowly exhale out your mouth. If we remember last week, we talked about the counting method. So as you breathe in deep, you count one. And as you exhale out, you count one. We're still gonna start short and we're gonna try to get to five uninterrupted breaths. So on your own, take a nice deep breath in. Slowly exhale out. We're going to try to get to five more uninterrupted breaths. As you come to the end of your fifth breath, let's go ahead and slowly open the eyes. We're gonna get into our practice now. Take a deep breath in again, sit up nice and tall. Really elongate the spine, reach the crown of the head up. Exhale, roll the body forward, placing the palms in the mat. Adjust knees below our hips. Hands are right below our shoulders. We're trying to create a nice flat back by reaching the crown of the head forward and stretching the tailbone backwards. Again, this is called table pose. And it is a base pose where we get ready for our practice. Spread your fingertips as far apart as you can and slightly squeeze the mat. Okay, that engages all the little muscles in your forearm and gets you ready for the practice. What are you doing, buddy? Are you trying to table pose on the couch? Get that booty out. Of here. All right, table pose. Take a couple good deep breaths. On your next inhale, begin to round the spine up, tuck the tailbone down between the hips, the head between your shoulders. This is the cat. You're trying to get all the way through your inhale. Exhale, pressing the belly button down, rounding the head and tailbone up in the cow. So on your own, with your breathing, we're gonna inhale, rolling the spine to the peak of our inhale. Exhale, rolling the spine down through the peak of our exhale. We're gonna go through three rotations of cat and cow. Here we go. Good. Really round that tailbone up. There's nobody watching you. So you have the opportunity to really get into your yoga poses here and come back to neutral. Okay. Inhale, raise that right foot out behind you. Try not to kick anything. Exhale, swing the right leg between your hands. I like to walk my left foot out just a little bit. We're gonna let your chest rest on your thigh. Today, I want you to draw your hands. If you can have the balance, if you need to have hands here for balance, great. Otherwise, draw your hands behind your hips. Press your hips down and forward with a nice, big, strong chest. This is low lunge. Again, I'm not all the way up, but I'm letting my chest and a little bit of my belly rest on my thigh. So you're getting a good stretch in that outside hip flexor as well as your um, hamstring underneath. Don't forget to breathe. Drop those hands down. 
Inhale, swing that right hand to the inside so your arm is perfectly aligned with your leg. We're gonna press the hips down, raising the chest up into lizard pose. Really press those hips forward and with each exhale, feel them sink a little bit more. Inhale, raise those hips up just a little bit. Walk that right hand back to the outside. Exhale, we're gonna lean into our lunge a little bit so we're overextending the knee. Inhale, raise the hips up, begin to roll the spine. Arms are nice and high above the head, okay? I'm, I like to walk my foot over because my feet are on a train track. They're not perfectly aligned. So my right leg is one is a little bit wider. My left leg is wide, so my hips are facing forward. Exhale, dropping those hips down. I like to bring my hands out in front. You don't have to, you can rest them on your thigh, wherever you want. This is low warrior one. Strong chest, strong straight spine. Roll those shoulders back. This is a power pose. Inhale, raise the hips up. Exhale, open left hand back, right hand forward. Sink hips down, straight spine. The knee is back past the toe. Our eyes are facing the same direction as our chest. And we're working on really pushing open that left shoulder, okay, into low warrior two. <laughs> Inhale, raise the hips. Exhale, pivot to the front, full forward. So we're almost back to a low lunge. We're gonna tuck that left toe, raise the knee, slide that right foot back and find yourself in plank pose, okay? Pull that belly button up to the spine, nice flat back, squeeze the glutes. We're gonna hold plank. Inhale, raise the hips up, elbows are tight. This is a newer one. Exhale, we're gonna lower the body with my hips up, Nice and slow as I exhale, this is called crocodile. Then I wanna get my chest all the way down. Okay, my hands are next to my shoulders. I'm gonna inhale, pushing the chest up into cobra, okay? My hands are close to my body, they're not really wide. My chest is big, my eyes are forward, and I'm rounding my lower spine, pressing it into the mat. Let's hold cobra. Sorry, that was a little loud. Inhale, raise your hips up, almost like we're coming back to table. Widen the knees apart. Walk the hands slightly forward. Press the hips back so your heels are going, or your, blute, blah, 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 your glutes are going back to your heels. Now, when we're here, if that's as far as you can go, that's great, okay? My glutes aren't necessarily touching my heels, but they're getting close. My next move is once I push my hips back, I'm gonna lower my chest and my armpits down, creating a stretch in my lower spine. This is called arms extended child. Breathe. If you can, widen the knees out a little bit more, press your hips back a little bit more. For those of you in the class who have recently started doing athletics again, hey, this is great for your hip flexors. If you have low flexibility, wider you can get the knees apart, the more of a stretch you're gonna create. The more you can push your glutes back. Ooh, baby, this one feels great. Inhale back up to table and breathe in your base pose. I'm gonna pivot myself for demonstration. You do not have to. Take a couple good deep breaths in your table pose. Flat back. On your next inhale, round the spine to cat. Exhale to cow. On your own, three more rotations. Come back to neutral. Inhale, raise that left foot way behind you. Exhale, swing the left foot between your hands. Lower the weight of your chest down onto that thigh. Draw the hands behind the hips. Press the hips down and forward. 
low lunge. Inhale, raise the hips slightly, drop the hands down. Exhale, let's walk that left hand to the inside. Press the hips down and forward. Inhale, roll the chest back. Okay, again, left arm is lined with the left leg. Okay, I'm not rounding my spine, but I'm working on pressing my spine flat by getting my chest big. Low lizard. Really gonna feel this open up that inner hip, inner hip flexor. Inhale, raise the hips slightly. Exhale, let's bring that left hand back to the outside. Exhale, slightly lean on your lunge. Inhale, roll the hips up, begin to round that spine up and then bring the hands nice and high above the head. I'm gonna walk my left foot out so I'm on a train track. Exhale, sink my hips down, but I'm not rounding my spine forward. Keeping a tall spine, rolling my shoulders back. Strong, broad chest, low warrior one. Each time you exhale, feel your body sink a little bit more, creating more of a stretch. Inhale, raise the hips up. Exhale, open right arm back, left arm forward. Sink those hips down. Straighten that spine. You can see even me, like I tend to start to lean forward. Straighten yourself out and open up your arms. You're really going to create a better stretch in our low warrior two. Inhale, raise the hips up. Exhale, pivot, fold. Tuck that right toe, raise the knee, slide the left foot back, and let's hold plank pose. Breathe. Raise the hips, elbows are tight. Exhale, let's lower ourselves all the way down. Bring the elbows tight, palms flat, push up, Pressing the lower spine into the mat. This is Sphinx pose. Roll the neck. Reverse. Exhale, lower the spine down. Draw the hands into the underneath the shoulders. Inhale, press up into Cobra. Let your head tilt back. Flex that lower spine and squeeze the cheeks. Good. Inhale, raise the hips up. Exhale, wide the knees apart. Bring the heels or bottoms of the feet together. Exhale, press the glutes back. Walk the hands forward. Chest and armpits down to the mat. Arms extended child. Good. Inhale back up the table. Cross the feet or ankles behind you. I'm going to turn around for demonstration. So we're going this way. Walk the hands back and find yourself once again in seated pose. Good deep breath. Exhale, relax the shoulders. All right, we're going to introduce some new things today. If you've taken my class before, you'll know these poses. Get better at them if you haven't. This is really gonna work our lower legs and our hamstrings a lot. It's a great, great, especially for this is our athletic yoga kind of piece. So we're gonna inhale, sit up nice and tall. Again, like there's a string that's pulling that head up into the air. Exhale, I want you to straighten out a right leg, keeping your left leg up and next to the knee. So my foot isn't underneath my knee, it's next to it. So I got that tall spine. I'm gonna inhale, bring my arm in a nice big circle. And when my arm's all the way up, I'm gonna begin to reach up like you're diving into a pool. I'm gonna reach that arm to remind me to have a straight spine. I'm gonna to begin to pull to the hips. Now notice I didn't just round my spine down, okay? Now I'm not stretching anything, but straight spine, reach, reach, and I'm folding right here at my hip. I'm reaching out, and as I pull forward, I reach out, I reach out, I'm exhaling, bless you, and I'm grabbing my foot as best as I can. If you can only get down to your shin, or you can only get down to your ankle, that's fine. I want you to try to keep your back as flat as you can and get as far out as you can. 
Once you're as far as you can go, drop your head down because it's gonna increase the stretch in your lower spine and your hamstring. It's called a single leg fold. Breathe and get a little lower. Inhale, slight raise. Now we're gonna bring both hands out as far as they can go. Head down between the shoulders, single leg fold. Good. Inhale, roll the hips up. Exhale, switch. Let's we'll straighten the left foot out, bring the right leg up next to it. Inhale, nice tall spine. Bring that arm in a big circle. Reach, reach, reach. Don't flop, reach and fold. This is kind of your starting measure point. Where are you reaching and how far can you be? If you're just sitting here like this right now, you're not getting yourself any good. Guys, we don't have cameras on, we're not at school. Do something for you, okay? Reach, reach, reach. If my 30, almost 35 year old butt can grab the bottom of my foot, you can do it too. Inhale, slight raise. Exhale, let's bring both hands. Inhale, roll the spine up. Let's exhale, draw that left foot up, and now we're gonna find ourselves in a butterfly, okay? So the butterfly, again, I'm gonna pull my feet nice and close to my body. I'm actually get a little sideways for this one. Feet nice and close to the body. I'm gonna wrap my hands underneath my feet, okay? Normally when we do a butterfly, this is where you guys all stop, or you do this wing flappy thing. Don't do that, it tends to tear your groin, not what you want. What I wanna see now, we're gonna inhale, nice tall spine, I'm straightening my back as much as I can, and as I exhale, I'm gonna reach my chest out and forward. Like I'm trying to take the point of my chest and touch it to my toes. So I'm not just flopping here, stretching nothing. I'm reaching my body forward. I like to wrap an elbow next to a shin and an elbow next to a shin for a little bit of leverage. Now we're creating a stretch in our groin. Okay, once you think you're low enough, inhale, get a little taller, fold a little more. This is folded butterfly. Turn one more time. All right, inhale, roll the spine up. Keep your feet in the butterfly. Raise your hands, stack your fingers, point your thumbs at the ceiling, roll those shoulders forward and squeeze. And we're gonna exhale and we're gonna slowly roll our body down. And you're trying to touch each of your spine bones, your vertebrae, in order, one at a time. If you gotta hold the ground, hold the ground. But if you can keep those hands up, keep them up, slowly roll yourself down, roll yourself down, roll yourself down. Keeping the butterfly. And as I roll myself all the way down to the mat, I'm gonna inhale, bringing those feet closer, and I'm just gonna let gravity pull down on my knees. We are now into our laying poses. And this particular pose is called laying butterfly. Great stretch of the groin. And you just let gravity slowly open up your hip flexors by pressing your knees down. You, of course, are breathing. Exhale, straighten the feet. Inhale, raise the right leg, bend the knee. Wrap your hands around the knee. I like to grab a knee and an ankle, okay? And what we're gonna do is as you exhale, you're gonna squeeze that knee. And it's like you're trying to put your knee into your armpit. So my left leg is nice and straight. I'm pointing the toe away if I can. And then I'm just squeezing my knee to my armpit. This is called half wind maker. Yeah, you heard it, wind maker as in it stimulates digestion and helps the movement of your food. So again, you're at home, there's nobody watching or listening. If you feel the need and Windmaker works, you're all good. Breathe. All right, you're gonna inhale, release your grip slightly, but I'm gonna keep my knee bent at about a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna place my left hand on my knee, but as I breathe in, I'm gonna reach my right hand out to the side like a plane. Okay, pointing my left toe or trying to keep my left leg as straight as I can. I'm gonna exhale and I'm gonna begin to draw my knee across my body. Now the temptation for some of you is gonna be lift up and here you are. If your shoulder comes off the ground, you're not doing the stretch correctly. You're pulling your knee across the body, keeping your shoulder blades on your mat or the floor. If you can only go this far and then the shoulder blade starts to raise up, sweet, stop right there. If you can keep going, then keep going. 
Give your knee as far over as you can. And if you can get your knee all the way to the floor, pull up on your knee. This is called bent knee twist. Great for your spine, great for your obliques. Breathe. Inhale that knee back up to the middle. Exhale, extend that foot out in front. Okay, let's do the other side now. Inhale, raise the left leg, wrap the hands around the knee, ankle, shin, whatever you're comfortable with, and squeeze that knee to your chest like you're trying to get it up into the armpit. Half windmaker. Breathe. Release your grip, keeping your right hand on the knee. Inhale, reach your left hand out to the side. Point that right toe away. Exhale, draw the knee across the body. Turn your eyes to look at that left hand, keeping your shoulder blades on the mat. Pull the knee across the body, bent knee twist. Perfect, inhale that knee back up. Exhale, relax that knee right there, keeping it up in the air. We're gonna inhale, you're gonna raise your right knee up, okay? And you're gonna wrap your hands around the outside of your knees, your ankles, wherever you can get, and you're gonna get yourself in the tightest little ball you can. And you're gonna rock front to back. And this one is called full windmaker. Okay, we're squeezing our insides, we're stimulating digestion, and we're just letting ourselves know that we are loved. Exhale, extend your feet out in front. Allow your body to lower itself down on the floor, mat, wherever you may be right now. And you're gonna find yourself in a nice, comfortable position on the floor. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Slowly exhale out your mouth. We always end our class in relaxation pose. And yes, some of you love this and you just tend to fall asleep, but that's not what we're trying to do. The idea is when we're in our relaxation pose, we're gonna start in on our daily practice of mindfulness. And all I'm trying to get you to do through the daily practice of mindfulness is notice your emotions, okay? I'm not asking you to be happy. I'm not asking you to be misering positive. I'm asking you to be aware of what is going on in your own head. That's all mindfulness is. I want you to try to fill your head with something that does bring you joy, something that you're looking forward to, something that makes you happy, something that makes you feel less sad, something that you have in your life that brightens your mood. And I want you to do your best to make that the focal point of your thoughts. There are gonna be other thoughts. There are gonna be distractions. There are gonna be lots of things that happen. Note those, be aware of where your brain tends to wander and then try to bring your focus back to the positive. I like to visualize my negative thoughts, my anger, my sadness, my anxiety, my worry. I like to visualize or see them physically leave my body. And I call it giving myself permission to not be surrounded by those emotions. You can tell your mind it's okay to not think about those things for a short period of time. We're only gonna do this for five minutes. So if you can try to not be in those negative emotions for five minutes, we can begin to train our brain and train our body on how we react to different emotions. Okay, stick with me, try it, do your best. And if it's too hippy dippy for you, please remember deep breathing increases the oxygen level in your blood. It helps oxygenate your muscles, lowers your blood pressure and lowers your heart rate. So there's a physical difference that it can make. Take a good deep breath in, slowly breathe out. Try to stay present in the moment and most importantly, breathe.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and start to slowly sit up and come back to the moment. Bring yourselves around. Excellent. All right, so we got a little, a couple more poses added, some low poses. We're gonna spend the rest of the week now working on mastering a little bit more of those low poses, but we'll do them for the full year. And hopefully you're starting to get a little bit of the routine of how my class runs. Um, my daily affirmation, of course, is always to you guys. Thank you so much for being here and experiencing just the joys and wonders and distractions of my house. Right, mister? What? Tip. Distracted. You are not being distracted. You actually did really good today. Like, no, Do you want to show them anything? Because now's the time. Uh, uh, Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you all so much. I see. Namaste, everyone. My soul sees yours. Secret question of the day. And this is a big one. There is a right and wrong answer to this, but you can put whatever you want. Does pineapple belong on pizza? It's a big one. Gets the controversy started. Ooh, people are all over this one. Bam, 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 bam. I got some yeses, I got some noes. The, the correct answer is yes. Pineapple absolutely belongs on pizza. For those of you who are saying no, Lily, that's too many noes, because you're wrong. Just way too many noes. Uh, lots of you are enjoying it. Thank you. Oh, Mario Kart's in the screen. I'm gonna stop the recording, everybody.